Well, I'm about, I don't know, 15 miles south of uh, Forks, Washington. And there's a, well, this is a road that goes down to a campground. It's a free campground if you have a discovery pass. Um, just thought I'd take a little video here of the area. I actually walked down the road that leads into the campground. There aren't that many spaces. Way too much tree cover for my liking. But it is beautiful here. A lot of birds. There's a little stream that goes through it. I'll have to check that out. I'm close to the coast here. Not exactly sure where. problem with Washington State, just too many trees. Well, not really a big problem, but when you need solar, finding a place to camp where you can see the sun is a big deal, and most of the places here, you're lucky if you get little bits of daylight like I'm showing right now. I doubt I'll stay here for more than a day. Even though it's free, it's, uh, I don't know, I'll see, I'll have to see. I've said that before, I ended up staying two weeks, so, uh, I can only stay here seven days anyway. But, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens, I don't have to be anywhere. But I do need to get out of this state because it's just uh, not enough sun. I mean, if it was sunny like this a few hours ago, I was taking some pictures of uh, Ruby Beach. I would have loved it to be sunny like this. Oh, well. Oh, well. All right, let's see what else I find. Okay, I didn't see it when I walked by. I guess it was just too small in my field of vision. But that's a big old stump right there. That is a big old stump. That thing's got to be, I don't know. 10 feet across the very base, maybe more. Okay, that thing is huge. That's the whole tree right there. Most of the inside is rotted out. Okay, that thing's probably 12 feet across the base. Alright. I'm still wandering.
that's the board. It's the Cottonwood Campground. Discovery Pass. I have one. Yeah, I went in the water just a second. My feet are still dry. So, I'm not sure what this is. I think this is, I think this is part of that little creek I just waded through or went through. There's a little more down here. Well, ain't this just lovely? It's a babbling brook. I don't know what it's babbling about. Apparently it's got nowhere to go but lots of places to see. Or maybe it's got somewhere to go and no place to see. Oh well. Let's see where else it takes me. So I'm getting ready to leave this morning, just way too dark here, no sun. It's a beautiful spot really, if you don't mind uh, the shade, it is light, but there's no sun, and I need sun. So I'm getting out of here. There's also no signal right now, the signal was spotty yesterday, but with all this tree cover, I'm not getting anything right now, so I'm getting out of here, heading north around the Olympic National Park. That's where I'm camped. There's a few spots in here. It's a nice, it's really a nice little campground if you don't care about being in the shade. And I know a lot of people like being in the shade. So, it's probably great. Uh, it's better for tent campers. That's mostly who's in here. But, um, 
I was able to get in. The Pacific Northwest is really best for tent campers or people in vans or truck campers as opposed to anything else. Most of the places I've gone have been like that. So that's just the way it is here. But hey, this is really a very scenic spot. There's a little little stream down by where I'm camped. I can hear it. Well, I can't really hear it because I've got to run my generator just so I can have power for my refrigerator. But if I had some sun, I could actually hear it. And there's areas to hike around here. But I got to go. It's time to go. As beautiful as it is here. It's just not for me. And it really is beautiful. I mean, look at these trees all around here. Might as well get a little video of the river, or stream, or whatever you want to call it before I get out of here. There it is. What there is of it. Alright, I'm leaving Cottonwood Campground in northern Washington. Um, let's see where the day takes me.